Zach, thanks for your time. Not the result we wanted. Uh, how'd you say it? Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. Um, yeah, it's not, not the ideal way to start, I guess, 0-2, but I think we can take plenty of positives out of the game, and I think if, by the way we moved the ball in that last quarter, it was pretty exciting, and um, probably just left it a bit too late in the end. We, we did some good things throughout the game, but there's a couple of things we'd like to fix up as well, and um, in that last quarter we got it back the way we sort of wanted to, and we looked dangerous and that sort of thing, but um, in the end it was just a bit late. I was going to ask you about that. We almost reeled them in in the end. So what, what lessons do we take from a game like that? Well, I think just our ball movement in the last quarter was really good. Um, I think just our ability to um, create from the back half and then I mean, we were getting it down to Jez and he was absolutely on fire. I think he kicked six in the end or something like that. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome watching him go to work. And when he's in a zone like that, it's, it's a defender's nightmare down the other end. So... I think that's what we'll take out of the game in that last quarter. We were looking dangerous and when we get it down there, we're able to score at a good rate. Um, but yeah, plenty of things to work on as well. A little bit of a break to the Gold Coast. Um, how do we, what are, what are the next steps for us now? Like, what do we take out of it? Well, I think as a team, um, I think there'll, there'll be a few things that um, we'll go back and look at the tape. But I think as a team, we're sort of across a couple of things that went wrong as well. Um, I think hopefully they're just going to be... Um, some quick fixes and some things that we can turn around pretty quickly to um, get our game in the shape that we want to and um, yeah I guess like just just be a dangerous team again and um, I mean it's not not panic stations where 0 and 2 obviously we'd like to be 2 and 0 but um, at the same time we've done some, plenty of things well we just need to get back on the horse and work on a couple of things and um, hopefully they're just some easy fixes and we can turn our game around. Despite the result, there were some really nice moments in the rooms pre-match with a couple of the boys getting their Geelong jumper for the first time. Pretty special moments. Give you flashbacks of, of those early days? Yeah, it's always exciting when you have um, some new guys in the team. Um, Jack Burrows came from Gold Coast and he's fitted in really well. Um, he's, he's had a really good pre-season and he's just fitted in seamlessly. And um, Cooper White as well was going in, into his second season and I thought he was going really well last year. He just had a few injury issues towards the back end of last year so um, to see him get his chance as well was awesome. He's a very hard worker so um, yeah, it was great to see him get out there. Thursday today, what do the next few days look like? Well, just some recovery and then back to it. I think we're back in on Sunday for um, training again and as I touched on before there's just a few things we just want to keep improving on and um, hopefully get together as a team, review the game, recover up and then just get ready to go again. Uh, we've got a bit of a longer break going into Gold Coast so Hopefully, yeah, a few, few chances to practice a few things on the track and, um, yeah, just try and get ourselves in best shape for Gold Coast. Really, mate. Thanks for your time. No worries, Troy. Thanks.